What's up, guys? It's your boy Pete. Welcome back to Planting with Pete. Now, if you're new here, this channel consists of almost everything house plant related. Now, if that tickles your fancy, hit that subscribe button and sit back and enjoy the video. Now, guys. We are going to be <clears throat> um, going ahead and planting up my, um, let's just say, philodendron. I um, still haven't figured out the name of this guy yet. Um, most of you guys, well, you don't know either <laughs> because this plant won't be debuted until I think it's like my one of my plant haul videos, my birthday haul. Yeah, sometime. I don't know, but yeah, it should be on the birthday haul video, guys. And um, but yeah, this is a philodendron that I don't know the name of. I will put the picture up here again. Maybe you guys can help me identify it. You probably have already, but I haven't uploaded it, so I still don't know what it is. So um, maybe you guys again can help me figure out what kind of philodendron it is. Um. The name I got for it, I don't know as well. I put it up there. Um, I forgot, but of course, it's not the name for it. So, um, yeah. But the mother plant, as you can see, is she's just wonderful and spectacular looking. Um, I did do a video that you guys will see way before this one. Um, and it was me doing the propagation. I mean, chopping and propping it and stuff like that. and. <laughs> But um, yeah, it's time to put her in a pot um, so I can get her growing. Um, it has good enough roots on them to put them in my sphagnum moss, which is fine. And there are also some new vines growing as well. So um, she's most definitely it's time to get put in a pot. And then I had roots and stuff growing outside of this pot here as well. So I'm going to try to make this a very quick video. What I'm going to do, of course, is put them in six inch pot um this one here is one of the newer ones i think from costa farm could be the older ones i don't know but you know my collection all of my plants rather are in the white ones but i do have i think two black ones the other one is up um under my melanin chrysan um philodendron so um yeah of course i will be getting more of those but um yeah she's going to be going down in here um let's get this pot back out down in here and of course my spag is in my spag container now the spag you guys um is already pre-moistened with uh my miracle grow um <clears throat> fertilizer what i do is i soak it and i just use it when needed keep the top on it to keep everything nutrients moisture everything still locked inside um let's move these here out the way let's go ahead and get started i'm definitely going to make this a quick here video for you guys today um all right so what i'm going to do how i do the rest of them you guys you know still moist you still fine um we're going to make sure that it's not clumped for one some of that I just grabbed from the bottom was kind of compact, but still moistened. Um, so basically, I'm just making a little nestled, little nest there so I can work with. Let's do this. Let's take some more. This here out in case I need it. Um, yeah, guys, I had to wait. Oh, my God. For you guys, it's like zero time. But for me, it was like maybe... A good 40 minutes i had like random hiccups not random but this is what caused it and it just wouldn't go away for like i don't know 30 minutes it was like the longest 30 minutes I'm like who spends 30 minutes hiccuping come on but yeah all right let's move that over i'm also going to show you guys the root system as well um of these there we go of these here plants all right, um, let's do this here. So I have an incline. There we go, it's a lot better. 
All right, so um, the top cutting, you guys, even though she did put out another leaf, pretty small, but they didn't do much root growth. Apparently, um, this top cutting um, was not down in the water and some of the water evaporated. So more than the half top part of this um, didn't get water. And then the bottom part actually started to rot off. It wasn't like the black, but it was starting to get mushy. So I just cut it off. Still going to put it down in um, this here bag because of these area roots. They do have white notches on them. And of course, this is going straight into the grow tent of my grow space anyway. So everything should be fine. But this is the top cutting from that plant. I'm going to see, can I insert a picture before um, she got chopped and stuff. I should have it. I think I do or video one, something I want to insert. Sorry about that guys. Um, my um, camera cut off, but um, what I'm going to do, as I was saying, is like insert a video or something, let you know what she looked like, but um, yes. Yeah. All right guys, so, <clears throat> um, one second, I got cord caught up in plants here. All right guys, so this plant here is part of my um, birthday haul, you guys, I got this plant as a gift. Uh, what I'm going to do is insert a picture here somewhere as I speak on this plant a little bit. Um, I don't necessarily know for sure, like exactly what kind of philodendron this is, you guys. Maybe you can let me know. Um, I've been told a few things and yeah. And you know, with philodendrons, they're kind of hard to tell when they are immature but this is a on um, the picture that you're seeing is a mature form so you guys let me know down in the comments exactly what kind of philodendron um that we are currently looking at but that specimen you guys that i've seen was whoa but um <clears throat> anyway you guys um she had this one uh, i think she said it one of the older stems something newer whatever popped off and she planted it potted it in a pot um not too long ago if i'm not mistaken but anyway um i was admiring it and yeah um I, it just turned into a happy birthday <laughs> um but yeah um yeah let me know down in the comments you guys but i wanted to make sure i had a quick recording of what she looked like before i actually start um chopping and propping her because as you can see she is growing um kind of I don't want to say leggy, but you can see how she is growing. And I've seen the mother plant, or you can see up there, that it grows completely different. So, um, yeah, we're going to take care of that eventually. But I wanted to make sure I wanted um, you guys to see exactly, again, what she looks like. Um, you will, of course, be seeing a video on her. But, um, yeah, this is my philodendron. It's a... Um, I was told you guys philodendron um well spade leaf philodendron but when you look that up it comes up as i think the header um the heteracium so yeah um i think i've heard birkin um i've heard um green emerald it just i don't know those the leaf shapes that you're looking at is just I don't know. It, the leaf shape actually reminds me of a, um, is it zebra or zebrina alocasia? Um, yeah, it's, I don't know, guys. Let me know down in the comments for the, um, below, but yeah, just want to let you see that. And yeah, guys, that is it. So many pieces here. I forgot what she kind of looked like myself, but these are doing good. Um, the other pieces you guys will see maybe in another video, propagation video of mine, updates or something of that nature. But as a whole, you guys, this is what they're looking like as of now. Um, take each one of these here out so you can see exactly what's going on here. But um, again, as you can see by the mother picture, you guys, this is a beautiful plant. Um, She's starting to hatch. Well, right there. New leaf coming in. 
roots on that one. Um, she has a stem coming out. Also roots as well. And then I have these here that has a catalog out with some roots. The next one I have, are they tangled? Growing. This is like a weird kind of weird kind of funky. There we go. Y'all are just weird. Uh, there we go. Um, we have one here also. Roots on it. Leaf stem coming out. All of these here. Oh, this one doesn't have a active growth point as of yet but she's putting off roots this one here has two growth points um, both putting out roots and also um, caterpillars as well now <clears throat> this here is going to be a very full plant within no time again hopefully you guys can help me identify this plant I'm pretty sure again, just by looking at the mother plant that, um, let's put some more in here. Looking at the mother plant that this setup won't last too long without some kind of trailer for something for her to actually climb on, which, you know, what I'm actually looking for. So I can't wait for that to actually happen now. What I'm doing now, you guys, is trying to put these in here in a certain way so it doesn't look crazy. Um, but also not so far down that my um, plants that have the, the new growth on them, they don't die off or spend more energy trying to find the light when they've been growing just fine um, without any of this extra stuff that I'm doing to them. So, um, yeah, right now I have one, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven rooted um, cuttings. And I also have, I don't know how many nodes that are growing as well. So eventually I will most definitely, yeah, let's add these in here. Here we go. Eventually those will have to come out, you know, and I have to plant them up as well. This is one weird leaf. There we go. Okay, okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do, guys. Oh, okay. Hopefully you can see that there. All right, so we're going to put these in here. And again, um, they should be just fine. I'm going to put a little bit more water in here to increase the, um, the humidity and the heat. Uh, will definitely help with these roots to start to grow. You gonna feel these? And now I didn't push these too far towards the back because, depending on the actual plant, you guys, you know that I will be adding some type of post. So, so I don't have to go back in and do too much damage. I try not to push it directly towards the back. But you guys should know that. Uh, it looks like I used all of that, guys. 
I might need to go in here and get a little bit more out. Now with me doing this, it's going to take a little while for those shoots to reappear. I want to say I like to, I covered them, but I covered them, you know. I wanted to make sure that this plant, when it starts to grow, is not wobbly. And I didn't expect these guys to shoot off shoots so quickly. But it lets me know that they are very um, quickly, they're very quick growers. And I honestly cannot wait to see what this thing does this year. Or better yet, a couple of months, or even better, a couple of weeks, you know. Especially since whichever kind of philodendron you guys are going to let me know, um, it is. And definitely figure it out. Yeah, guys, there we go. Very simple. Easy, quick, straight to the point. As you can see, again, um, they're down in here. Uh, what I'm going to do, I have the same water. Um, I also um, will be doing another method. You guys using, I can't even take it out. Oh crap, you'll see that video as well, but um, it's my golden goddess. But um, there is a certain kind of, I used to always have one laying around, but I actually did some cleaning. Um, but yeah, and it's not here. So um, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You'll see that some on other video guys, but um, I do another method so that I make sure my spag gets moistened evenly instead of um a part of it getting soaked and then some parts are still kind of dry to kind of damp uh, and then um but yeah i get into that again once i do my plant maintenance again i'll most definitely have to do that video again so that's always fun um let's put the rest of this on here so again um we have to wait on this one kind of sort of maybe like my painted lady you guys been following me know the backstory on her so let me check this water doesn't stink doesn't smell which is good put her down back in here of course we we'll prefer the white um plants um planter i'm thinking about any one of my plants or my plants that I'm putting outside, I might use this black planter, um, of course, for um, purposes of basically um, seeing dirt and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I have my other ones in that same kind of <clears throat> setup, and I'm really really did want to do this in the same way but i will be going out and getting some more of these I'm not sure when but i know for a fact i can find them on sale um with another plant in them um as well so that's a plus and um one second so keep an eye on that you guys so i'm pretty sure you'll see it in a hall, my plant hall, I think, um, with another pot. I might switch it out, might not, who knows. But yeah, guys, that is it here for today's video. Do me a favor, hit that like button if you enjoyed. Also, comment down below. Um, let me know if you have one of these, if you know the name of this philodendron. Again, I will be running the picture up here somewhere, the entire video, so you guys will be able to help me identify this plant. Um, also, you guys, um, hit that notification bell. This bell will keep you notified and let you know what is going on over here with Planting with Pete. And if you don't know, I have a second channel called Pete Plant Smash Up. It will be down in the description box below. Do me a favor, guys. Go over and check that out. But, um, yeah, that is it. I'm really, um, 
Um, I'm so really happy that I was finally able to get her down and out of this here water because changing water, you guys, to make sure that it's fresh and roots are happy and fresh and water doesn't stink. It's just consuming, you know, and it's just water. And especially when you have a lot of things propping in water. I do do a lot of um, propagation in water because it's quick and you really can't go wrong with water other than switching it out. So, um, especially you can't overwater water. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, that's, that, that's my logic of, um, thinking there, but, um, yeah, I'm glad that I got her down and potted. And, um, again, I wish she will be switching out another base. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. But again, guys, I'm um, hit that like button. I'm um, coming down below and Make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye. Man, now if she is a fast grower like I think she is, though, guys, um, she will take off. These lobes, as you see, will change even by the mother picture. You cannot, yeah. So I just really can't wait.